Peter Kerridge from Premier Christian Media, and I'm preaching from Wesley's Chapel here in the heart. Presently, sermons tend to be dry, by and large, and detached from where the folk generally are. The church attendance figures themselves would indicate that folk will show up less and less if the gathering doesn't meet their needs. Now they may not like to say it in those terms, but the figures speak for themselves. And where churches have captivating sermons, services which really meet people at their point of need, those churches are growing. But there is quite a lot of mediocrity in the delivery of the gospel which needs to be addressed. And I would suggest that in this day and age, with technologies that are available, we should divert people just hearing a simple presentation, we need to think carefully about using these technologies to enhance the gospel that we preach. And really, I want to say that the church really does need to move into the digital age. When we have so many opportunities to engage with technology, with mobile phones and televisions that could become internet sites and uh, internet sites that uh, can show videos, the church is missing a trick if all it does is to have people in the front of churches speaking out. Of course, there are folk who will be able to, by the sheer eloquence of their delivery, captivate a congregation for maybe half an hour at a time. But I would suggest that those folk are the exception rather than the rule, and that most of us should look to other technologies to help the delivery of what is a priceless gospel to tell. There are videos, there are audio packages that we could use, there are music and drama that would ha happily be easily encompassed within a church context. And what I would say is that if we're to engage with a new generation, who go and watch the film Avatar and have an Xbox and use Twitter and look at Facebook all the time and use their mobile phone as their main source of communication, the church needs to move into that realm. And Premier is determined to try and help them to understand what it is that the church could be like in the digital age. We do need to move forward as we communicate the gospel to this generation using new technologies. For instance, the mobile phone. Could the mobile phone be a fantastic tool in pastoral care? If Mrs. Smith in the pew has one of these devices in her handbag and she has a TV screen, and there are screens in our churches, can we link them all together to deliver pastoral care and spiritual input across the church at large? I have a friend who lives in Abu Dhabi and he goes to church via his computer in Atlanta. There are people who are willing to be spiritual guides via telephones out of churches that we already work with. The linking up of all of this to enable people to find the spiritual care they need in the context of the spiritual discipline from which they have come, whether it's Church of England, Baptist, Methodist, Pentecostal, High Church or Low Church or Middle Church, is available. All we have to do is use it. The average 15-year-old would, on entering a normal church, an average church, think that this was an interesting aspect of life, but probably not for them. It would be so detached from their Facebook experience, their educational experience, where they're learning in so many different styles. But the idea of someone standing at the front and leading a bunch of people through a one-hour ritual would be seen as uh, something from a different age. And therefore, we need to look at just the way in which we're usefully engaging with that generation. Because if we don't, we're in danger of creating a spiritual orphanage in the next day.